Hey friends, look at me, two videos in a day. Um, a lot of questions keep coming up when I show the Windows terminal within the context of different prompts or different shells. I think this is a bit of a confusion between the difference between a, a console, a terminal, and a shell, uh, and why we use these different words. Now, originally the word terminal comes from terminate. It's the end of something, the terminal end of a communications process. And, you know, a TTY like this is a terminal of sorts. Uh, a console is then having a screen that you could type on and things would appear on that console. Uh, and in the software world, uh, a terminal and a console are effectively synonymous. But a shell is an entirely different thing. So here in my screen, I'm just going to type in command.exe. And you'll see basically what is the Windows command prompt. It's looked like this forever. It's effectively DOS. Remember the original DOS universe. Let's just put this over here. I can also go and type in PowerShell and run Windows PowerShell that people feel uh, some kind of way about. Sometimes you'll have Git Bash on your machine. Some people like to install a thing called Sigwin. That's a thing. Uh, there are also third-party things like Terminus, which is a lovely alternative terminal that's starting up here. I'll put that over here. You might hear about things like ConEmu. What else do we have? We've got PowerShell uh, Core, which is open source. Uh, look at a lot of different things. What the heck's going on here? And this is very overwhelming and frustrating. So what do we do? Well, let's categorize these a little bit because people conflate these. They use the words terminal and shell uh, and console all separately. For example, I might do a video that says you should go and use Ubuntu. Look, I just started up Ubuntu here on Windows, and I go, eh, just use Sigwin. So I'm going to go and put my dollar sign prompts over here. What do we got? We got MinGW, we got Sigwin, and we got Ubuntu. They all have dollar signs. They must be the same. Okay. And then we've got PowerShell, which is kind of weird. Some people love it, some people hate it. We've got the command prompt. That's just DOS. Windows sucks. Windows with a dollar sign. Um, what's happening? Well, the shell is the thing that handles my interactions. When I type in dir into a directory, someone decided to do something about that. But the shell did not paint to the screen. The shell did not paint to the screen. The shell gave a string, the result of dir, to someone and then painted to the screen. But the shell did not do that work. Okay? I can prove that by going and clicking here and looking at the properties for that console. I'm going to do the same thing for PowerShell. And I'm going to do the same thing for PowerShell Core. I can continue on and on. Because it is the console host, or what's called conhost, D-O-N, host.exe, that is responsible for painting these windows. Painting, it is the thing that paints to this uh, console, and it is uh, pretty bad. It's been around for a million years. It's slow. It's legacy. It's part of Windows for a million years. Close it, close it, and close it. That is a console that has been replaced by the Windows terminal, which has been completely rewritten from scratch. It's open source. It's on GitHub. It supports a million things. It's super fast font rendering, you know, DirectX, blah, 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 buzzword, buzzword. It is not a shell. It actually includes no shells. It is a replacement for the console host that we dislike so much. Now, what about this Ubuntu? That's using WSL2, the Windows subsystem for Linux. That is a real Linux kernel running real Linux. Starts up in a second, and you can see other videos about that. I'm going to go ahead and close that. Now, MinGW and Sigwin here, if I look at their, they don't have a property, they have an options. Look, they're using the same thing. So their, their terminal is painting things differently. They didn't like the console host that Windows shipped with, uh, for good reason, because it was lousy. Uh, and they wanted their own support for things like VT100 and VT102 and ANSI, things that the Windows uh, ecosystem didn't support well. So they made their own better terminal, and those terminal features are great, and that's in fact why these things exist. These are all part of the GNU family of tools, 
And this is all great GPL licensed software. But when I type ls, or let's type cat, I'm going to run cat. What am I actually running? I just typed cat. That's a Linux thing. Clearly, I'm running Linux. Sigwin must be Linux, right? Well, I'm going to right click on the task manager here. And I'll just come down and I'll see a couple of things. First, I see cat and I see bash. Those are Windows processes appearing in the Windows task manager. That one comes from here. If I right click and say open file location, that one comes from here. So that's bash out of the git folder and that's bash out of the sigwin folder. And when I typed cat a moment ago, that is coming out of sigwin. What sigwin is, again, this is not a, this are, these are statements of facts, not in any way disrespect. They are recompiled user mode utilities, except rather than targeting Linux syscalls, they're targeting Windows syscalls or system calls. So when you type a DIR or an LS in this context, uh, what it's doing is it's listing out Windows, uh, Windows folders. Uh, actually, I'll do it over here. There we go, because I'm in the right folder. I'm in C users. Scott, over here, I'm in the Sigwin home folder. So when I said LS there, it said, hey, Windows, give me that information. But it, it is not Linux. It is the user mode GNU utilities. So then the question is, well, hang on. And then again, let me point out, I can do all those similar things in this alternative terminal called Terminus. Returning to the Windows terminal. Given that this is not a shell, can I put Sigwin in here somewhere? That would be cool. All right. Let's go and click Settings. All right. And scroll down and see your different list of things like PowerShell and Command Prompt that are automatically detected by the Windows Terminal. I'm just going to open this up, and I'm going to make a, a new GUID. I assume you won't have to do that. And this isn't even really a GUID. It can just be unique enough that it makes you happy because it just needs to be a unique identifier. You can generate a GUID if you feel really strongly about it. And then I'm going to say SIGWIN. There'll be a UI for this soon. It's not going to be hidden. I'm going to need a command line. I'm going to need an icon. OK, so let's do this. What's that icon going to look like? Well, I know that SIGWIN is installed in C SIGWIN, and there's actually a terminal icon right there. I want to click on it, and then I'm going to hold down the Shift button. I'm holding down Shift with my left ring finger, and I'm now right-clicking with my other hand, and I'm saying Copy as Path. Copy as Path appears because I was holding down Shift. Just a little nice trick for you. Now I'm going to go and paste that into the icon location. Now, JSON files don't like backslashes, so you have two choices. You can either double backslash, or you can single forward slash. It's up to you. All right. Now the command line for Sigwin is what? Well, it's this Sigwin.bat. So I'm going to shift, right click, copy as path, I'm going to paste that in, change that to a forward slash, double check my quotes, hit save, go over here. Notice that I got a little error there. I can confirm by just resaving my settings to make sure that the terminal's cool. And look, without even Restarting the terminal, I can use SIGWIN. Let's give it a try and see if it's true. Look at that. Okay, so the SIGWIN prompt that makes me happy, the SIGWIN prompt that works uh, with the, maybe the scripts that you've written, uh, you can go and do that and plug it in. So now with the Windows terminal, I've got Ubuntu, I've got Command Prompt, I've got PowerShell, I've got PowerShell Core, I've even got Poly Linux or uh, Alpine all kinds of additional things. So not a lot of operating systems will let you run so many different shells, and in this context, different complete operating systems like, uh, in this case, Ubuntu in its entirety, but also the SIGWIN utilities that make you happy. Pretty cool, huh? There is a big difference between a shell and a terminal or a console, and I hope that this helped clear that up. Uh, thanks a lot. And if you find this content useful, please do subscribe. Thanks.